So this could be potentially one of our most ambitious trips to date. We have about a 30 kilometer paddle across Great Central Lake. And for the next few days, we're gonna head towards Della Falls, which is actually, we believe, the tallest waterfall in all of Canada. It has been quite a dry season, but still apparently quite a spectacular sight to see. The lake is like glass right now. It's still nice and early and calm in the morning. Man, it feels good to be back on the water. It's been a little while. It's awesome. We got the whole family here for this trip and uh, should be a fun one. So all in. And then once we get to the other end of the lake, we start at the trailhead, which is gonna be a 30 kilometer out and back trail up to the waterfall. There's a few nice campsites along the way and uh, apparently a really nice alpine lake that we're gonna check out. So all in all, we're putting in some kilometers over the next few days. We constantly have to keep shifting our weight to the left and right. It's all really which way Diesel wants to lie down. I think he finds comfort in leaning against the wall of the canoe. We all kind of stop what we're doing and freeze for a second when he gets up to shift his weight. And then once he relaxes, we uh, we can continue paddling. Down. Lie down. <laughs> slide, slide to the right. <laughs> We're used to it. It's his world. We're just living in it. Been paddling for a couple hours. We just found this little beach spot. So I think we're gonna have some lunch, relax for a little bit, probably take a swim. that not many people do because you can only access it by water mm -hmm. so when we were doing a little bit of research online I believe it's like less than a thousand people a year actually hike this trail so we're pretty grateful to live so close and to actually do it and it's actually the largest lake on Vancouver Island so yeah. we've been to many lakes in the last year so this one's massive compared to the other ones you can definitely feel it while you're paddling we were out in the very middle of this lake and you look at the side it almost feels like you're not even getting anywhere because it's just such a big body of water but i think we're going to paddle closer to shore the rest of the way just so we can you know see if there's any wildlife on the shore and just stay close in case diesel dumps us close. We got a pretty good headwind to make us work for it though. Starting to see the little baby white caps come out. Picks up quick. I can see how wind and waves could become an issue pretty fast. And 
yes, I'm wearing my jacket in 30 degree weather because I was getting really crispy baking in the sun all day. Should be pulling up to the trailhead in a little bit. And we're gonna check out that trailhead campsite, see if we can snag a spot there. Sure, you can probably tell it got a little bit of sun today, but we finished our first landmark of this trip. Made it the full 30 kilometers, although it felt a little bit longer than 30 kilometers. That was quite the grind. We made it to our campsite for the night. We are just parked up at the trailhead. We put the canoe just up by the water, and then tomorrow morning we're gonna pack the bags again and head up the trail. It's about 15 kilometers to Della Falls and there is, as I was saying, another alpine lake that we have to come back down and go up a uh, pretty steep incline. So uh, over the next few days, we're just gonna kinda wing it, see how we feel and um, try and get these hikes in. Unfortunately, both of our backpacks sat in a puddle of water for most of that trip. So they are airing out on the dock right now. Really hot out still, even later in the afternoon. It's about seven o'clock right now. I think we're just gonna eat and probably get to bed because we had quite the long day. We got up early this morning, did that paddle. So gonna make some dinner, hopefully these sleeping bags dry and then probably get to bed. Is it time for breakfast? Good morning from Della Falls Trailhead. We're just hanging out at the end of the dock here having our coffee. We were pretty zonked after paddling yesterday. I was a little MIA from those last little bit because I was just cooked like... by the sun. We were yeah. both a little a little cranky, a little hungry, a little tired. And so we pretty much just ate really quick, um, put the food away and then went right to bed. It was perfect sleeping weather it was that nice like cool once the sun went over the mountains mm -hmm. so we slept like babies yeah it was actually a really uh nice evening and i really wanted to just hang out by the dock <laughs> and i found myself just laying in the tent at like eight yeah. and i'm just like i just need to stay out of the sun right now because i'm feeling very crispy i'm feeling okay today how are mm -hmm. you feeling i can feel it in my face my yeah. lips yeah yeah we're yeah, not gonna make that mistake we're gonna get some travel packs of uh sunscreen and just keep it in the bag for yeah. moments like this. What would a trip be though without forgetting something? Something. There's always something. <laughs> Don't ever expect to go on a trip where there's not going to be one thing that you forget. So the plan today is we're going to have some breakfast and pack everything up and then we're going to cover some ground today. We're planning to hike all the way to Della Falls today so it's about 15 kilometers. We still want to go to Love Lake, so we're going to see how we feel once we get there because it is quite of an incline when we get there. So. I think we're gonna do it. I think we should do it. I think we have to. Yeah, we're it's already here. So pretty. We worked oh. so hard to get here, so yeah. gonna fuel up. Yeah, it's time to eat. And we have to ration. This is our uh, <laughs> our first pretty big multi-day trip, which we're really stoked about. I've I said in the last video, I'm, I can't wait to do more multi-day trips because those one-nighters are they're fun, but they're just a tease in the end. So fun fact: you can actually place the boiling water right in these little packets and it doesn't burn through. Might burn your hand a little bit, but you can just eat straight out of the packet. But don't burn yourself. But don't burn yourself. <laughs> you have don't recommend that. <laughs> This just in, Alana gets stung by a bumblebee. 
on my ass cheek. We checked and there's no uh, no stinger, but it's a little red. But also, we did find a water source much sooner than we thought we were going to. We were reading online the first water source wasn't going to be for about seven kilometers. And we're about three and a half in and we found a nice little creek bed. Everything's really dried up. You can tell this was probably a pretty deep river at one point. But as we were saying, it's uh, it's been a really dry season. So everything's pretty much dried up. But anyways, we're trudging along, avoiding the bees the best we can. And this long green tunnel that is our trail today is very much welcomed as it's uh, keeping us out of the sun. And it's another beautiful crystal clear day, not a cloud in the sky. You guys like that little flare across the screen right now? That's from our Vancouver Island trip. The second day we were scaling a waterfall. I had slipped and uh, went down camera first. Fortunately, only the crack in the ND filter and not the actual lens. Because if it was the lens, that would have been a much, much worse day. <laughs> This cucumber, it's massive. So we're just taking bites out of it as we go. And then these are some pretzels that Kyle found at the dollar store. Getting some water from the cucumber and some salts from the pretzels. It's good. And we're about two kilometers away from the cable car, which we'll probably take a little break and have some more lunch. It's hitting a little bit of a hunger wall, so we stopped real quick, but those bees are attacking again. So we are just gonna munch on the go. Be at the cable car soon. Let's see how that goes with the dog. Hey, bear. Hey, oh. We've reached the point where we need to take a cable car over the river and we just got here and noticed there's quite a big ladder that we're wondering how it's gonna be getting the dog up that. He's a bit of a chicken when it comes to heights. It looks fun, looks a little sketchy at the same time. There's a lot of boulders and fallen old trees aside of mm. the ladder. And you know, even going up on either side of the ladder, there's still quite a jump to get to the platform where the car is. There's just some people coming across and going across it right now. So we're just kind of waiting for them Taking to Taking notes pass. from them. Yeah, and then we'll see what happens because <laughs> it'll be interesting. Yeah. So I'm gonna load you guys up and you're gonna go first. Okay. Bye, family. Another news, we found blueberries. <laughs> well, Diesel did. Those are sour. Oh. The terrain along the path has really changed. You can start to see a lot of the old growth trees come in. Uh, it's very dense. We're kind of just scaling in the middle of this valley. On one side is going to be where Della Falls is. And on the other side, it's a straight jump to the top, and that's where that Alpine Lake, uh, Love Lake, is located. So we're kind of just walking along this river, picking some fresh blueberries. So we're close to our destination for the evening, and then we can relax. Mm -hmm. It's been fun. We've been on the go. It's been good. There's literally you, a big... You can hear it probably on the microphone right now. Just listen. They're just swarming. Oh, 
There he is. There it is. <laughs> Get out of here. Boy, he worked hard today. Yeah, you did. <laughs> but as soon as the crispers come out, look out. But first, I'm pretty sure it's bath time because I feel disgusting. on the menu we have good old-fashioned bits and bites pre-made bagged pasta and it sounds terrible but it's actually pretty good yes good. tolerable mm -hmm. we're saving the good dehydrated meals for tomorrow because tomorrow is gonna be a big day by the sounds of it if this trip hasn't been a big day <laughs> a already. big trip already yeah. the uh, ice bath in the river definitely helped everything was feeling really sore and I mean it still is but it's refreshing. A quick little bath it's uh helps relieve a little bit of that discomfort the water is so cold so drinking it's just like mm. so refreshing mm -hmm. Della Falls is actually just about a 15 minute walk from the campsite so we're gonna go check it out after we eat we just needed to literally to eat and just get some extra fuel yeah so we're gonna go check it out see what it's all about the waterfall isn't flowing as much this year just because it's august it's the dry season yeah. so there's still a bit of a waterfall but it's not as flowing as it typically is yeah. so i'm just excited to go in there and wash my face get my hair yeah. wet <laughs> yeah <laughs> it'll still be a good sight to see mm -hmm. just doesn't do the full justice although it's still not in its full force um, as we we're saying it's been a super dry season it'd be unfortunate to say this place still isn't incredible like if you look around we're just in this little valley and we have the waterfall to our right here and then another mountain to our left so and we're camping just down the hill a little bit so from where we are it's about 10 minute walk we're right at the base of the waterfall and you can just tell that when this fall is in full force we would be totally underwater from where we're sitting right now 
but it's still uh, it's pretty amazing. Try my best to do this place some justice with the camera so you guys can see it for yourself. Just heading back to our campsite, we stumbled across this little box tucked away in this big open hollow tree. And I guess a couple got married at Love Lake, which is the Alpine Lake, um, just up the mountain here beside our camp and uh, left a little box. So it's kind of a take one, leave one type deal. And there's a couple little things in here. We got a, some electrolytes, a lighter and a waterproof bag. Some, uh, does anyone know what that is? Is that some sort of crumpled up piece of paper? Oh look, there's another one. Kind of looks like a cigarette. And some Tic Tacs. So, it also has a log book. We're just, uh, just gonna write some words in the little book they left here. And uh, yeah, fun little find. Diesel is absolutely zonked. He's Anytime we stop for anything, he just lies down and <laughs> gets some sleep. But we're heading back to camp. We're all really tired. We're gonna get, uh, get a good sleep tonight and we have another big day of hiking tomorrow. So we'll see y'all for that. Someone is refusing to move for me. <laughs> Big day, successful day. Looking forward to do it all again tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is gonna be awesome. Mm. And... It's gonna be a lot. A lot. Yeah. yeah, looking forward to it though. Nothing we can't do. Mm. Yeah, we're excited to show you guys this lake. We're gonna check out tomorrow too. Mm -hmm. Good night everyone. Good night. cool out this morning and we got some nice cloud cover which is definitely welcome for the hike we're going to be putting in today. Um, once we eat, have another coffee, we're going to head up to Love Lake. I believe it's only about two hour climb but it is a climb the whole way so. We're going to leave our tent and our packs here mm -hmm. so we don't have to lug everything up because we don't really need it anyway and then Come back down here, take a little break, and then take on the rest of the hike. So yep. I think that's the plan so far. Yeah, big day of hiking, but there's uh, lots of daylight and no rush to do those kilometers. So we're just gonna take our time, enjoy it, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. There's a series of switchbacks 
for the next couple hours to get us to the top, climbing Mount Septimus. And in a little bit, we should have a pretty nice reward. A nice glacier lake for us to jump in. It's only nine in the morning, but it is already quite hot. The three of us are panting, ready to jump in and hydrate. I had stopped for a few minutes because I was feeling totally wiped. I don't know if we just came up to the top too quick, but we had stopped and I looked over to the left and there was just this huge bush of these really nice plump blueberries and the sugar from a couple handfuls of those have just totally been a game changer. They're so good. And the ones down at camp they were still good, but they were still a little sour, but for some reason the ones up here are much bigger. Mmm, there's just so many to pick. Yeah, couldn't have come at a better time. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Thank you, bears, for sharing your blueberries. We will save you some. Mm. One for me. One for you. Woo! Ah! That's the most delicious thing ever here. We made it. Well, the hike up to Love Lake was totally worth it. The solid two hour grind, with a bunch of switchbacks, a little steep in a few spots along the way too, but Totally worth it. This wasn't even part of our itinerary for coming yeah. uh, to Della Falls. You know, we saw Della Falls yesterday, and that was pretty awesome as well. And then everyone we met along the way was like, "You gotta go up to Love Lake. You gotta go up to Love Lake." And you know, we contemplated because we're like, oh, it's like an extra couple hours of hiking. We're literally like up a mountain right now, and yeah. it's just awesome. Like the water is just a beautiful turquoise blue and we're surrounded by mountains, trees, and it's very peaceful up here. Nice breeze too, so. But we have a tired puppy on our hands and still quite a few kilometers to go to get us back to the trailhead so we can set up camp for tonight. It's time for us to get down from this mountain and pack up all our gear and then head to wherever we end up. <laughs> yeah. We put this poor dog through the ringer. He's such a trooper. He ends up pulling up these mountains, up these steep inclines faster than we do, and we're usually the ones telling him to slow down. And he's uh, made himself comfortable on one of the yeah. jagged rocks here. I don't know how he finds a comfortable spot. It's just jagged rocks and log jam all over the place, but he finds a way. We're gonna grab some lunch and then head to our next spot for the night and gorge ourselves full of blueberries on the way back. We're all packed up, getting some filtered water in this water bottle, and we're gonna hike out of here, see how far we get and how we feel. Diesel's kind of been snoozing and relaxing the last little bit since we've been back. Cooler now, a little bit of cloud cover, so it'll be nice getting out of here, I think. Won't be, you know, beaming in the sun the whole time, so it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. We got this. We got this. 15 kilometers. Yeah. Oh, team. Come on, guys. Let's go. See you on the other side. Send 
your back. Good boy. Come on. I got you. Yeah, buddy. back in so we have another nine ish to go yeah. and it's already been like not even two hours so we're making awesome time yeah. caught a second wind yeah you are such a trooper you want to get some water we'll keep going <laughs> yeah that was way smoother this time yeah we have a system now we go down the ladder oh yeah we still got to go down the stairs come on come here this right way. here this way baby right here look yeah. look look under the ladder under the ladder Go. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. That must be so suspenseful for you to watch. <laughs> Sorry, moms. Sorry, moms. Yeah. <laughs> Onward. Pushing the limits here. Strolling into camp with pretty much no daylight left. Looks like we're gonna cook up dinner real quick and get this tent up. Probably go right to bed. <laughs> what do you think? Hi. <laughs> I can barely keep my eyes open right now. <laughs> At least tomorrow's paddling. Yeah, we use our upper body tomorrow. <laughs> oh, we can see the lake. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, we made it. And we decided to post up on the little dock here outside of the campground to make some dinner. What a day. Yeah, it feels good to be back here. Okay. So proud of you. We're having pasta primavera and chicken risotto. Mm. Italiano tonight. Mm. I think we're going to invest in our own dehydrator. Oh. Make our own meals for these types of trips. Well, another successful day. We're just going to continue being a couple gremlins eating on the dock here. Mm. Head to hay. And sleep like babies. Mm -hmm. See you in the morning. Good night. and you don't have to go. <laughs> Excited to paddle back, head into town. Just saying yesterday we didn't uh, bring any beers with us. And rightfully so, there's no way we would have wanted to bring some cans <laughs> along with us. So I think we're gonna hit up a brewery or something and get a nice cold beer and a bite to eat for sure. Looking forward to that for we sure. We really are. <laughs> it's gonna be like well deserved. But yeah, it's a beautiful morning, so I think we're just gonna have a quick coffee and take off. Take on the day. Mm -hmm. Wow, it feels nice to uh, switch up to paddling for today. Got a nice calm lake to start. Had a heck of a time getting this lug of a dog into the canoe and out of bed this morning.
Just taking the reins at the front, keeping us on track. Keep paddling, honey, you're doing great. As we left this morning, even the other day when we were paddling to the trailhead, I was like, I would love to see a bear scaling the coast here. Put it out there and it happens, right? Definitely a cool thing to see. And I believe Alana got footage of it stopping mid hunt for berries to stop and take a poop. So it is confirmed, bears do in fact shit in the woods. Oh, whoa, diesel's on the move. <laughs> Everyone stop what they're doing at once. We're about three hours in and uh, yeah, we've got this lovely cloud cover for today. So we're not gonna have to worry about getting burnt. So the weather has been on our side every single day and you really can't complain about that. Very ambitious trip. One of the biggest ones we've done so far as far as kilometers per day. But after those two big hiking days, yesterday we put in over 20 kilometers with some pretty rugged terrain, some steep inclines here and there. Yeah, we're doing good, we're feeling good. Body's a little sore, but mentally we're in good spirits. It's been a lot of fun so far. Really awesome adventure. The little character building thrown in there. It's always good to push the limits and challenge yourself and check another adventure off the list. If you guys have made it this far in the video, I hope we've earned your subscription to our channel. It's free for you to do and it helps us out substantially. We very much appreciate it, but until next time, you guys get out there, go on an adventure of your own. Hope this inspired you a little bit to plan a trip for yourself. We'll see you next time.